So you want to take really good pictures in Greenville, but you don't know how to. I have a few examples here and I will show you. I took all of these pictures, but sometimes my friend did help me. So yeah, you can take pictures like this, 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 or even this. Today I'll be going over the settings, the time and the weather, the angles to take a picture, and just generally how to take a picture really well. If you don't know how to take pictures, you need a phone, first of all. You go buy a phone, it's at Just Buy, um, you just buy it and you'll get a phone. If you want a good quality picture or a high quality picture, you should always turn up the graphics and do some stuff in the settings. Like turning on shadows or putting the high, that's called the tree count and high so there's more trees and the game looks more alive and will look way better on pictures than having fewer trees and just optimizing your graphics. So the next step is finding a location. So I would suggest the lake, Cats Park, the graveyard for like spooky nighttime shots. I think this would be pretty nice for Halloween or even the gas station Cenex. Uh, this could like show a little car club or like three few, like three four cars just hanging out which would look really nice especially at night time with the headlights on uh yeah you can find your own location i'm just giving you guys a few examples and yeah let's go into the third step now we have time and weather this is super important for your picture time can control a bunch of stuff for like spooky pictures at night time you can only control the time and weather in a public, not a public server, private server. So I should, I suggest you guys get a private server, but it co only costs 25 Robux. And if you do double that time, put your time in, I don't know, like 12 in the morning or control the time or double that weather, it will pop up with this menu and you can control the weather. It's super cool to control the weather. Like you can do sunny shots like this or rainy shots like this look super nice and I would suggest buying a private server just to control the time and just like just get a few for it and yeah just try out a few stuff now we can talk about the camera settings so first of all we have bloom this makes the white color pop it makes it shine and the intensity it's how intense it should be like uh, zero being it's not, not there's like nothing if you put on zero but one is super flashy and stuff size is is just how much it should be spreading i usually just put it on one and third show is the balance between the two i usually put it on two because i don't want too much if you put on one it's uh, flashy if you put on zero it will just destroy your eyes i wouldn't recommend doing that put it on two or one and i will give a, a nice balance now we have depth of field. This is gonna be super hard to explain. Just hold on tight and I will go through. So, far intensity is just basically how hard the blur should be in the background. Zero being there is absolutely no blur. 0 0.1 being a little bit, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and you can go on and on. One being the most blurriest in the background, so keep that in mind. Focus distance is how far the blur should be away, so the distance of the blur. 10 being it's in front of you, the blur is going to be in front of you, it's going to be annoying, don't do that. And 200 being it's going to be the background, blurring out the boring stuff in the background and you know, look nice in the picture. In focus radius is going to be the blur in front of you, like uh, if you don't zoom in or anything in your camera and if you go like next to your car, your car, your car will be blurred out completely and you have to zoom in if you want to unblur it. And your in intensity is just basically how uh, how much it should blur the thing in front of you. So I'm about to take a picture in the, you see the NSX in the background. I'm going to take a picture of that and here are the settings. So I put bloom, everything on one, depth of view, far intensity on one, focus distance on 100. I want to have the blur a bit to the background. So I kept that. I put in focus radius in 35 because I just want to have a bit of blur in front of me. And near uh, and the near intensity intensity is on one, and now let's take the picture. So here's the picture before the camera settings. You know it looks fine. It's not the best, but it's okay to be fair. And you know you can see the stuff in the behind in the background. Um, yeah, it's it's a good picture. 
so here's the picture with the settings as you guys see the sun is beaming down looks more cooler i also put the camera down uh, facing up like it was it's tilting up to the thing it's the car but the camera is like on the floor so it looks like the car is like a halo car or something or like the car is coming from heaven stupid but you know the sun is beaming down which looks nice uh, the background is blurred i didn't want to uh, blur it too much so i had a little you know just a bit um the foreground looks fine uh, i didn't blur it too much and yeah that's how a professional picture looks i guess of course there's a plenty of people who can take it better but you know this is also pretty good so I have my beautiful NSX parked at the junkyard and now we're going to take a picture. We could take a picture like this but it will be boring. Um, depth of field, far intensity of 0.99 or you can put on 1, makes no difference. Focus distance is on 120, I want to have the background blurred a bit. Um, in radio focus, I have nothing on it, uh, I just don't want to have the foreground blurred. So yeah, I just wanted to have the background blurred. So bloom was on 1, 1 and 2. You can put the copy if you want to. I want to have a bit of shine, so I put sun rays on uh, intensity on 0 0.1 and spread on 0 0.6. So you know the sun rays would be there, but not too much, so it would block it. Uh, taking a picture like this, yeah, it's fine, but you can use something more creative, like uh, going on top of the roof or going side of the building or going completely on the ground or going on top of the trash cans and taking a picture, so it looks a bit better. It's more realistic like the camera is placed on a uh, object so looks better or something and yeah or you can look through the window which looks cooler uh, I went with to I went with the what's it called going on the trash can and taking a picture which looked like this it had a few objects on the side so it looked like somebody was on the uh, trash can and took a picture you can also see go behind these holes and take a picture there like this, um, I like to have something in front of my camera, I like these hills, not too much, but let me try to, you know, adjust it. Like this, it's like in the middle of two rocks, uh, it's like behind this grass and stuff, so it adds more texture to the picture, which looks a bit better. So that was it, please like and subscribe, it was helpful, <laughs> this took a while to film, um, this idea is all already like four or five months old, finally had the not not have the laziness i didn't have i wasn't lazy for once i guess and i did it and this is how it came out sorry if it was um what's it called if i couldn't explain something well because i'm english is not my first language if you didn't know and yeah i just have a hard time explaining and i was nervous throughout the video i don't know why that's maybe i was speaking a bit too fast and maybe you noticed it or something and yeah that's basically it thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment down below if it was helpful